What's going on, trucking junkies? Oh man, I'm in Houston. It's like 340. This place was hard to find. Look, I found I found all the love bugs. Look at that. I just cleaned that windshield this morning. Wow. Oh, it is hot. Hot, hot. So this place is interesting. Uh, so I I did up my tarps in a parking lot over there. And then the forklift driver had me come around the building through a roll-up door over there. There's a roll-up door right over there. Through that roll-up door and then park here. And then I get to go out that roll-up door over there. Way over there. I just say, wow. Oh man, no student this week. As of right now, Roche got off the truck on Friday. Like I said, on Friday we did some, we had some lunch. And I took him back to his place and he's gonna go test out tomorrow. I hope he does well, he should. He had plenty, plenty of practice. But yeah, this place was hard to find. So, the paperwork said 10,000 North Loop East. The truck GPS was 10,000 North Loop West. And Google Maps was 610 Gillahand or something like that. So I had to make a couple of phone calls to actually find this place. I was on time though because I planned it that way. Actually, I was about 10 minutes early. Yep. But anyway, we found it. It took a little bit of directions. The ladies in the office were very helpful. They got me good directions, which was awesome. Oh man, I don't know where we're going from here. They, uh, they had me on a pre-plan to go pick up some pre-coat metal and take to Oklahoma, but then they took me off of that. So I got a feeling, I got a feeling that tonight I'm going to pick up some slinkies from Vidor, Texas. Just got that feeling. Mm. That'll be all right though. I can get over there. They can get me loaded. That's where I'm gonna sit tonight. And then I'll go deliver it tomorrow. Which will be fine. And I'll go to Fort Smith. And they'll give me something going to Georgetown. And I'll go pick up some North American stainless. And then I'll come home. That's my plan for the week. We'll see how we'll see how uh, how well that plan works out. <laughs> Maverick may have different ideas. Mm. And it's hot. Did I say it was hot? Let me say it again. It's hot. Not too hot though. At least the concrete wasn't black top. It was just concrete. I can deal with a light color concrete versus black, black top. Sun beating down on and then all that heat coming up on you. That, that really makes it hot. And I'll also tell you, uh, folding these lumber tarps like I am now, that makes it a whole lot easier too. I still get winded because I'm fat. You know, I got that, got that beer belly. But uh, I don't have to bend over so much doing it, and that's good. And I don't have to be out there standing on those black tarps for very long either, which also makes me happy. Uh, we're going to get the rest of this unloaded and see where we're going. Then we'll get the heck up out of here. I got a feeling 
That tonight's gonna be a fight or night. Got a feeling. Ooh, ooh. So, we have made it here to Vidor. And they said they're about two hours behind. I got one. I got two. I got three. Four. Five. That's five on this side. Six on this side. There's one back there. Six on this side. Not including me. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. No, that is including me. That's including me. And on that's on the overflow side. And on the regular parking side, I can't even count. <laughs> There's so many people here. Oh my lord. Oh, there's so many I've seen a lot of people here but this is probably one of the I don't know this is probably the second worst I've seen it that's alright we got about they said we're about two hours behind but I don't know about all that one it looks more like about three to me but we'll see I'm going to go set up my truck when I get done in the porta potty over here and then I'm going to go relax and do a video. Okay, people. Now, look. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes you just don't get loaded until late. How late? Well, right now it's about 11. Let me point this way. There's the light. Right now it's about 11.30. Yeah. And they don't tell you when they're going to call you, so I've been up since 5. This is supposed to deliver tomorrow. They close it. Well, actually, they close at about 4 o'clock. If you can get there by 4, they'll usually load, unload you. But this isn't getting there by 4. Because you got to go on the clock to load. And some people don't do that. But, man, I'm tired. I'm going to get my sleep. I've already sent them a message, told them I ain't been loaded yet. Told them they're going to have to change this to a Wednesday morning delivery. So I'll be there tomorrow night and stay at Fort Smith and then deliver in the morning and go over and get me some bar or something. I don't know, man. It's late. Man, I'm going to put two straps on this. One on the front coil, one on the back coil. I'll cinch it down, then I'm going to bed. I'll do the rest of the securement tomorrow night. I'm not doing that tonight. I'm too tired. I don't even know where my forklift driver went. He must be tired too. And a dude almost hit, almost hit one of their stacks over there. It's like it must be amateur hour tonight. I don't know. She's loaded. When you guys come here, you put two straps on. One on the front, one on the back. And then you get out of here, there's a there's a strap in place where we park to queue up. Just go down there and do that. Don't do that here in the yard. It buggers stuff up. Like that dude right there came in like two trucks before me and he's still working on his stuff. Uh-uh. It's bedtime. Let's go. What's going on, trucking junkies? We're here at Barker, Burkart, Burkert, Burk, 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 Barker. They got some new stuff going on. That's all new. Apparently, I've not been here in a minute. But it looks like we're still going through there. I don't know. I'm going to undo my straps. There's another Maverick sitting down there. He didn't take his straps off for some stupid reason. I don't know whatever that's his dealio <laughs> oh man <clears throat> but we're gonna get ours off pretty quick roll on down there we're gonna go back to fort smith more than likely uh.
pick up some bar. And guess what? We're also gonna go to North Little Rock, get the truck washed, number one. Number two, we're picking up a new student. <clears throat> yeah, his name is Andrew. We're gonna meet him. We're gonna meet him there about noon. I told him to be there between noon and one. Noon and one. Come on. There you go. Oh. It looks like it's gonna rain though. Maybe that'll wash wash some of the love bugs off my windshield. Because, oh. man, did I hit them yesterday. Oh, man. I think, I think I killed them all. Poor things. Just trying to get, get a little. Trying to make make more bugs. Maybe I parked in their way, I don't know. They should have a sign. <clears throat> oh. Eh, they got plenty of room to get through there. Whatever. Oh. So I'll leave the two front straps on, but I'm gonna loosen them up a little bit. That way I can put my bar up. There we go. Man. I'm gonna get the rest of this off and uh, shoot. I knew I forgot something. I'll get the rest of this off and roll down there and see what they got. Uh. Yeah, it was late when i got this loaded like you saw so i didn't make it yesterday but that's okay when you come into those situations man you just let them know you inform them that way they can change your delivery date which is what they did for me and you try not to do it too often but you know you can't help what the shipper is doing Not at all. Oh, that one's got a problem. There we go. So you communicate. So everybody knows what's going on. And then you move on with your life, right? So, uh, update on Roche. Uh, he took his, he took his, uh, <clears throat> his final evaluation test yesterday and passed. <clears throat> Today, all he's got to get through is the mirror eye test, which I don't have mirror eye on this truck. So I told him to go take a look at my video. And that should help. There we go. So that's what he was gonna do. He'll be getting his truck 
tomorrow. Meet a sleep manager, that kind of stuff. Come on off there. I went around that other Maverick. She shouldn't have been parked there. Must be her first time here or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Does not matter. Just pulled up onto the scales, came right around. Come on now. They should be getting in the office about now. Hope they get me a load soon. I need, uh, I need about two and a half hours to get to North Little Rock. Good morning. How are you? Getting started. Yes, sir. Been waiting on a computer to load up in there. Yeah. We have to every morning also. <laughs> At least I got you a comfortable seat for the day. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> just get mine unloaded and then you go <laughs> thank you man i appreciate you we'll see how he's gonna do this he's gonna set them off right there That looks like what he's going to do. He's going to set them off right there. Maybe he'll get fours and take them on. I don't want to move my boards while he's trying to work. It'll slow him down. We're going to travel on down the road. Do them down there, I guess. And they get them pulled off quick. They put them on quick, too. Just it takes them takes them about 15 minutes to go find them and then get them over to you once they get them off or get them over to you you're, you get them on really quick just getting them in there man just getting in there and getting this getting this stuff done takes them a minute
we're done. Go put our boards up and get back to Fort Smith.